consciousnesses open disregarding the oblivion they face. You move around Weinberg and notice that social distancing is not being adhered to. Cape Town is actually a hot spot for the disease. So besides that uh, disease, there's a lot of hunger that you're dying every day. Hunger. At least because of the corona, it's recuperating. So the future of our Paris. Not everyone had money. Not everyone had savings. Especially foreigners, they were not having savings in their account. This corona just messed up this small business, car wash, barber shop, small business. Corona is nothing. They are only making drama about corona. And I don't expect anyone to believe me, man, because everyone is struggling. We must open it because we can't stand this situation. We need there's a people they need to pay rent. Let Africa unite for sure. Those in, in the world, we need to be united and win this in the world. I'm from Nigeria actually. My name is Bobby Obolins, a uh, self employed businessman. So we just do buying and selling. Since I've been in this country, I've, it's the first time we are really experiencing this epidemic this bad, you know. Everyone in this country is going through hell, especially foreigners. They're going through a lot. Financially, they can't afford what the society is giving to them. You see, everybody must have that freedom of affordability. That's something we don't have here in Africa. There's too much poverty in Africa. The coronavirus, as for me, is a scam. Okay. It's, not, it's, not, it's not effective here in Africa. I feel maybe if there is anything called coronavirus, it's COVID-19. COVID-19 is what we don't understand. We understand coronavirus is just a mere flu that everyone contact one way or the other after. Even newborn babies, they get flu. So I don't see it like real. I, I, I'm so disappointed in our leaders, in our African leaders, because they're supposed to know more about this instead of locking down the economy. I believe they are in the right position to be looking forward to assist Europe and America out of this situation instead of locking down their economy. As we are talking, the African Union has not had any meeting for the past, since this coronavirus, they've not had any meeting. And no one is dying in Africa, but is refused to have meeting in Africa. But Europe, where people are dying, their leaders, they meet regularly. Every week they must meet. But here in Africa, there's no crisis, but we don't meet. Let's tell the viewers what you think about the lockdown on South Africa and if you were prepared for it, how effective it was, and how it's affecting foreigners. Uh, it's really affecting, it's affecting the whole nation in a very, very bad manner, you see, because there's no provision for anyone, and at the same time, the news came so sudden. You see, there was not notice, no one expected this lockdown in Africa, from South Africa to all parts of Africa, no one expected that Africans were going to lock down their economy. And it came so sudden, we heard about Europe, but it came so sudden that everyone should lock down. Not everyone had money, not everyone had savings, especially foreigners, they were not having savings in their account. Not everyone is rich, some people just came, some people are really suffering, some are struggling. They didn't have savings, some are working with the restaurant owners, no savings at home, they have to pay their rents. Even to feed during the lockdown was difficult. People can kill you just because of one hundred dollars. It's even too big for people to take your life. Meanwhile, it, it, it doesn't happen in other advanced countries in the world. It's time for us to become advanced as well. We, we, we believe we can do it. We can do it without any interference. We just need to understand that we are brothers. We need to share love with each other as Africans. That's more important because where there is love, there is unity. Okay. So like the Congolese, I don't see any reason for them to leave their country and come to South Africa 
to be suffering when the country have all the natural resources you can think about on earth. So the whole Southern Africa in short, I don't see any reason for them to be leaving their countries. Coming to South Africa to become foreigners where they treat you like people who don't have where you come from. So I feel it's high time Africa should come together and make things amicably for all citizens to be, com uh, to be comfortable. One Africa. Yes, one Africa. Situation where they pay every citizen m money. They pay you, they pay, they pay you, you get an income to be a citizen of Africa. Africa can afford that for their citizens. They gave you like $1,000 every month to be a citizen. That's how we can develop Africa. We make our railways, we make all our network, our marketing, we open the borders. That's the only way Africa can move forward because apart from that, we'll keep on asking the Europeans for funds. We'll keep on begging them for food to eat. We have all the raw materials in Africa. We have the land, fertile ground for, for agriculture. But still, our children can provide, we, our parents can provide three square meals for our children. It's a shame to Africa. It's a very big shame. There's gold, diamond, platinum, there's cocoa, coffee. Everything you can think about that brings wealth. Uh, the only thing I see for foreign nationals in South Africa is only if Africa come together. Without that, there's no future for foreign nationals in South Africa. The only way foreign nationals can enjoy South Africa properly is if Africa has one passport. Without that, there is no future. I can't see any future. There is a long way, they've got a long way to go to battle the, the situation of foreign nationals in South Africa. The only way forward is for Africa to become one, whereby everybody can go. You can even see South Africans going to Congo to get a job because they believe they'll get better pay than working in Johannesburg or working in, in, in Lesotho. They can prefer to go to, to Botswana to get a job. Anybody can go anywhere to get a job. Anybody can decide to reside anywhere he wants to reside. Anybody can decide to set up business anywhere he wants to set up. Nowhere will be so important for you to go anymore. You just decide, I want to go and set up a business in Egypt tomorrow. You go to Egypt because you know with your African passport, no one is going to ask you for where you come from or where is your place of nationality. Your passport already proved those things. That's why we want one unity. One Africa. And no one is going to kill us for doing that. No one is going to get angry that, hey, we, we're going to stop trading with them because they, they decide to unite. If they want to stop trading with us, we trade with ourselves, with each other. We are enough to do business with each other. Before we start consulting China, France, Russia, or whoever they are, we know, we've known a lot. Most of us are talented. We've got too much talent in us that is dying away. We only distribute it when we travel overseas. Business to opening. Everyone used to do some business, we must open it because we can't stand this situation. We need pay the people they need to pay rent. Especially like me. I pay rent almost four thousand for months. So I need to make money to pay my rent. So I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna spend the owner of the house. If you ask me to pay rent. We never hear people talk about rent, we just talk about cigarettes, beer, all that things. People they used to go to pray in the church, we never talk about the church things. But people they try to talk about it. We open beer, we close cigarettes, we stop eating, all that kind of stuff. So, so we need to open some business to survive the way we used to survive. And we need to these things to finish, we done. We try how to see gonna survive. We need to sometimes there's a lot of foreigners used to send money for the family. So now we live out of we don't know how to our family they try to say about us how we survive. Some they cry for this situation for corona. 
I think thank you for everything. No, oh, Corolla just messed up the business because Corolla is like, uh, I can't get the point of really Corolla. So I'm a businessman. Since now, almost three months now, it's like lockdown for nothing. But I never get sick for because of Corolla. So I want to know the reason what is a Corolla. It doesn't make sense for me. Because, I mean, some of people say Corolla, Corolla. If you're not, okay, I'm an African guy, back home in Tanzania and Burundi. It's no lockdown. Why here in South Africa is a lockdown? So many people, it, it just die for anger out of Corolla. I do a business like a barber shop. So this Corolla just mess up this small business, car wash, barber shop, small business. So since now almost three months, people is, suffer because of Corolla, but the people die because of Anger, man. I want to know the reason what is a Corolla man, in Africa. What level are you opening? What level is opening Baba I don't know, but uh, I don't know. Is a level five, level four, level three? But uh, really, like uh, until now, I don't know yeah. which, which level you're gonna open until now. But people busy and die in China every day yeah. because of anger out of Corolla. I want to know the reason what is a Corolla in Africa. Because back home in Tanzania and Burundi is no lockdown but people still surviving. But here in South Africa, so that people are keeping Corolla, Corolla for no reason. You must know Africa as you are poor, man. But you are rich somehow. But I don't know what is a Corolla, man, in Africa. It doesn't make sense in African people. In South Africa, the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed on the 5th of March by the National Institute of Communicable Diseases. The patient, a 38-year-old male, had traveled to Italy with his wife. On the 15th of March, President Silvio Ramaphosa declared a national state of disaster and announced an immediate ban on international travel and the closure of schools. Ah, in late for me, this is the Guayam, South Africa, 2008. Especially in terms of putting the use like the face challenges So don't of which trade sina maria chwe kutinga data atikuwe na mabasa atikuwa na masala atrimu zimba saka maria kutinga data kuti uite jesejo so unengu sina tu vana wane nga chida kujiga aswa wajira kujiga atiku kwa nisa kujwa afford of which kana vana vangu vajika three times a day nao vajika once a day like ndika wapa poriji kumatuko ufu wakunu wati and then taku mirira sapa which is not good kuvana Saga doma ma challenges in the vana kungo gara ne vana mumba usinga budo ne vana garo tukuno tamba shunja tukuno ya tunoti shunja kaoma shunja tarasi na mbobera taka experience but now those tungo ripasi shaga tuomer. So same foreign and na imwe way and rokonsa ubatsi rwana yu. Even the Gadaku, who owns the tender on my WhatsApp, even the Gadosha apply and the only English codes here, which in the apply pure Ganach Kafu, Chip in the feed, the Vanavango, Saga, Doma challenges at Chuna Wife. So tell me, um, do you have you heard about Corona? Yes. Uh, do you think, have you seen anyone with Corona? Still, I didn't see, only news. Okay. I watch uh, BBC Al Jazeera. And South African TV. Okay. So, do you think there is Corona? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, you said you're a businessman. How yeah. is Corona affected? Are the people still buying, or how is business? My bro, I'm telling you the truth. No business. There's no business. Even I can't pay rent. I can't do nothing. Do you think because of Corona? Yes, as a businessman, it is wiser for you to close business. No, I can't close, just I try. Okay. 
or so. You keep on trying. Yeah, I try. Yeah. Uh, so because of I have I I I have hope from God. I don't think so. South Africa government is never helped me um, because of I'm a hard worker. I wake up early. I close my shop uh, night time. That's why I survive myself. So you've been just surviving on yourself. Yeah, myself. Yeah, never helped me South Africa government okay. cool. because of I'm a worker. I have hand. I have eyes. I have everything. Mm. I like work. My name is Wumod Masuk. Uh, I came in South Africa 2006 in February. Uh, came straight to Cape Town and never stayed in Jobek. Um, we're into carpet and cleaning industry. Uh, now with Corona, we're getting more busy uh, through sanitizing the places and uh, through sanitizing the houses also. So that's how we're getting busy uh, because this corona came on another hand which is bad for others but it's good for other businesses like our businesses. It's good for us because now we're getting more busier than before. Even we are supposed to be quiet in winter but now we are getting more busy, we're getting more calls. Yeah, we thank God. Uh, we were not prepared for the lockdown. We're not ready for the lockdown because we didn't take it serious. Tagangote are mad jokes. Inyaya zirubuta uwa, nevada. Tagangote 21 days, tagangote in 21 days, it will be over and done. Then we get back to our normal life. But pataka zoona president wako anaunsa kuti tawezi rani mangoma weeks. Pava ni mwezi. Do pataka tanga kufunduga mai, nekuda kuzokira kufungwa zedu manji kuti right. This thing is reality. Zangu nemo nero angu future ne obi egore no yabe. Kana pane muna ngari ma plans uchi uchazu dau tenga imba uchazu dau tenga mota zegore ni no zato pira because tave half of the year, which means uchi atis kuzagu uchi lockdown uchi pira ni, atis kuzagu uchi corona uchi pira ni. Saka future apa na pari. Uh, as for me, I don't think going back to Zimbabwe is an option at the moment because uh, So I wouldn't advise anyone to go back home. Uh, let us not panic about what is happening. Okay, my name is Sale Amisi. Uh, I'm a former international football player. Which you are wish to take home? I play for, actually, if you want me to start from my beginning, it's a long story. But down here in South Africa, I played for I've been training with Kaiser Chiefs before I joined Santos and I played for Marisbeck United also. They tell us that this Fidential Rangers and then I left and I went to play in China, Hong Kong. So we actually joined four Rangers in Hong Kong. I played there for you long. This one's disease is the same like other diseases we've been experiencing so many years ago. And in Africa, it's not only about disease, but also about the hunger. You know, that's what I can confirm with you because I witnessed hunger during my career. I see how the Africans, they're struggling. Thanks to God, I get the opportunity to move around the world. And I know, especially in my, in my continent as Africa, you know, we have a lot of sickness besides that uh, disease. There's a lot of hunger. Children are dying every day with hunger. So you have to realize that as African, not because this disease started from the West, so all of us can keep our eyes toward the West and no. We have to think also about what's happening in Africa actually current. We've been experiencing so many deaths in Africa, more than the European experience at the moment. So we have to focus as African and try to build Africa and make sure Africa become united. Uh, I'm Felix Mayo, uh, ex-former player of Congo. Is a uh, play in Mbenga, a play in Matungue, if the Kabongo, and uh, has been also in Belgium, in Gantoise, uh, and I passed also in the bridge, maybe I didn't get a chance to play it. 
but uh, now uh, I'm in South Africa. The, as well, uh, Africa must be in unit to stand uh, together and to win this, to show to all the world we need to be united. First, we start here in Africa, and those can see by example. Is that what I'm saying? Ah, my God! You know what I said? The internet was my cure. You know, because Zimbabwe, you know, my core is 27. Then the career kuno South Africa kuso chaga bas. The one one in the affairs in the limo. No, I wasn't prepared for this. It just came up unknowingly. Okay. Yeah. Did you have any money? Did you have any food at work? How how did you go about it? Uh, since it is something that just came up uh, unknowingly, I had nothing and even prepared for this. So, like, Takatu pinned up a How did it affect you? How did it affect you? How did it affect you? How did it affect And then everything was just shut down. Uh, looking to my side, right? Like, now I'm not going to work, right? So, I don't have money for rent. I don't have money to buy food. Whereas people are saying that Kunima Baz are good talk talk about for free Queen South Zimbabwe. But who can study some man? Chunzi, Ukabakunu, Urunoshka, Kuno is quarantine for 21 days, Uripa border. Yeah, which is not good as for me because you will be suffering, you will be prisoned there per board. Yeah, to others it's an option, but to me I don't think it's a very good option. Why? Because Ndika Zuko Zimbabwe kwa chun rukuno ite. And the Antina Maria to put in the Zimbabwe. And then Nika Zuko Zimbabwe kwa chua panapo put in the cup and ningab kuda mum South Africa and Shino Shikan Shino kwa chikab ku Zimbabwe. Sakandi visa ku Zimbabwe in a way in the Chaga Kurara. So Tsunotongo no put it Jamira say. My name is Hamad. I'm from Pakistan. I'm here doing cell phone business. So nowadays, uh, business is very quiet because of the corona. They are nothing. Just they people want to be scared from the corona, but corona is nothing. They are only making drama about corona. Nothing. Corona is nothing. They just. Want to be patient of people. They want to be a patient of people. If we go to a doctor, doctor also said must do this or that, but it's nothing. They laying at home from two months. Corona affected totally business our business. So we laying at home two, from two months. There but nobody do nothing and we have to pay rent also. Because of the corona, our parts also is expensive, you know, we are selling expensive things. It was is a different price, you know, uh, because of the corona they are changing the prices. They are increased, uh, totally increased the prices. So that's why more affected the business. Maybe it's a now bigger than nice before like maybe how was the how was business? Maybe after one month, after two months, we're gonna start again. But nowadays, it's totally effective. Yeah, if if we're gonna like this, when we have to do that. If we're gonna like this, when we have to do close, uh, close the business. They must also make sure they make a. Uh, care of self and start the business not be gonna any problem because of the corona corona not gonna affect anybody <laughs>